Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 30 of Darwell20's Mechanical Mastery Let's Play series, uh, where today my plan is I'd like to I'd like to I'd like to jump into Lazier AE2 so I can automate uh, a few things a little bit more quickly. Uh, we can automate things uh, like this and like that and all kinds of advanced cool things. Um, but we need to do a little bit of crafting and setup. So we, it's been a while since we played with this mod, so let's take a look at it together to remember how it works. Uh, the circuit etcher can make circuits a lot faster. The matter infuser can make a lot of things that are required for uh, the mod. Uh, and then there's uh, some other cool stuff you can get, like the fluix aggregator, which is the main thing I want, because this will allow me to have fluix dust on autocraft a lot easier than doing it in world. So I'm thinking, you know, let's do it. Um, and, and go from there. Cool? So let's take a look. Uh, so to make the Fluix Aggregator, we're going to need Fluix Steel, which can be made in the Matter Infuser. So like I said, Matter Infuser is for making these resources. We're also going to need Carbonic Fluix Dust, which doesn't look too terrible. Uh, we can make that in the Matter Infuser too, which is a lot more efficient this way. So I probably will make it this way. I won't even bother automating it here, uh, or, or previously, but yeah, I think that's where we go, right? So let's start with with this guy, right? So to make the matter infuser, we're going to need resonating crystals, which are made currently... I can do it in an enrichment chamber, so that sounds cool. And resonating seeds need resonating dust. And resonating dust can be made in an inscriber with a resonating crystal or a fluid aggregator or a pulse grinder or a crusher. So uh, that is going to need to be, I should put this on my to-do list, but I'm not gonna teach it yet because I think the best way to handle this will be the fluid aggregator once we get one. Deal? Deal. All right, so let's put this in here then and let's put this in the enrichment chamber, wherever that is on my on my big crafter dude ultimate enriching factory that should work cool now if i want to get this stuff uh what we're going to need is sky stone dust diamond and ender pearl dust um which we can get from thermal pulverizers either thermal or applied energistics dust so applied energistics dust can be made in the crushing wheel it can be made in the inscriber the miller or the pulse grinder. Do I have auto crafting on this guy just yet? I don't. What I'm doing is that, right? Okay. I was just curious if I had some kind of auto craft set up on that. I forgot if I had done that or not. Um, or we could just do like a quick thermal series. Why don't we do? Why don't we do the thermal series approach? Um, now, alternatively, we could do earth. Eh, it just seems like a waste. Let's just do pulverizer, right? Do I have an auto craft pulverizer down here? If not, I should make one. I have a, I have an induction smelter and a multi-servo press, but I don't have a pulverizer. And because this recipe isn't part of a mechanism crushing line, then I'll have to do it this way, right? So let's get uh, some power. Let's get you. And let's get um, augments. I could snag one of these and that would be cool. Okay. And then... Uh, we will want you configured identical to this. Push to the out. And then a pattern provider. Didn't I make like 10 of these previously? Oh, that's right. I didn't because I was short on the things. Right. And this is why all the stuff, right? This is why we're doing all this today. Right, so then your pattern will be ender pearl dust in a pulverizer from an ender pearl. And do you know how to make ender pearls yet? You don't really. Uh, I could probably teach you. I don't know if that will work, but I guess we'll find out. If I just keep one in there at all times, can I be like, hey, give me 100 ender pearls? I guess I can. That works then. Sweet. Okay, so then give me like 32 ender pearl dust and that should start cooking. Cool. Okay, that wasn't so bad. 
And then we're going to want diamonds, half a stack of them, and sky stone dust. Now we have a bunch of sky stone over here, right? Didn't we fully automate sky stone dust? We pretty much did. So that's cool. All we have to do is plug into this with the AE system so that it can see it, right? Cool, and then you, right? And then these three combined. Okay, and that should be cool. Let's try that again. All right, I just had to remember what my magnet hotkey was. So if we do that, am I doing this right? Am I doing it right? Resonating dust, throwing in water, sky stone dust, diamond, ender dust. Sky stone dust, ender pearl dust. Does throwing in water not work if it's... So this one will take either. This one wants only ender dust. <laughs> not a problem. We'll use this for future things, right? Uh, so now we just do ender dust here. I bet if I just did you should be fine. Pretty sure I can't tick accelerate this thing, can I? Oh, that's going to be painful. Uh, what else can I just do? Pulverizer? Do we have a pulverizer laying around somewhere? Like a grinder dude? Isn't there a manual grinder somewhere? No. No, why would there be? Nowhere that I can just manually grind something real quick. All right, let's just do this. Grindstone. Uh, isn't that what that's called? Millstone. Pretty sure millstones accept from the top, right? Like that. And I'm pretty sure I can maybe tick accelerate these guys. Yes, that, that I can definitely do. Sweet. So now we do that, and then we do this. Give me that one extra. You're cool. Now let's try bing, bang, boom. Now you're going to behave, right? Yeah, you are. Sweet. And now, if I give you the resonating crystal, you should be able to make a stack of these, right? That looks like it's working to me. All right, cool. So one to one and this is one to one. So you don't, it doesn't double like it does other things. Cool, all right. So with that good now, um, I should be able to make my matter infuser. All I need is some fluix pearls, which shouldn't be too bad. Gonna need more fluix dust. Yeah, I think we're just gonna need more fluix dust. So let's get, um, Charged, Certus, Quartz, and Redstone. Let's just make, hopefully this will be the last batch of manual Certus Quartz dust we do, or Fluix dust. Cool. Okay, now we can do, should I teach it how to make those things? I don't thinks necessary i think we should be fine i think we should be cool i think if i just you know yeah i think we'll be all right cool and then the last thing we need for our matter infuser besides all that is going to be a matter condenser sweet yeah, see how slow my circuits are? This is what this is going to solve for me. Okay. Now you're using how many channels over here? Oh, you're not using channels. That's right. Okay. So should I... Let's see how this works. Because I feel like these are semi-smartish. So maybe what I'll do... These will probably eventually replace this whole setup but not yet, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plop this here. 
and off of this guy, which I'm pretty sure we have, you know, we have plenty of channels on there. Um, let's just run cable like this. Do you not get cable like that? How you hook up if not cable? I'm surprised to see that you don't accept. Interesting. How do you get power then? Do you just need like manual RF insertion? Uh, let's do a flux point. See if that's the answer. Actually, I have one, so that's cool. But yeah, you get power from a flux point. Okay. And then we can, you know what I can do then? Let's just do a pattern provider. Okay. It shouldn't be too bad. And your job, IO configuration. How about on the bottom, you're gonna input and output. And auto extract. There are no processor upgrades installed. Uh, okay, cool. Place acceleration cards in this slot. If half of the maximum upgrades are installed, the processor will be twice as fast. Okay. Um, so then let's set up a pattern for this guy. So your matter infuser recipe that we want most is going to be Fluix Steel and Carbonic Fluix Dust. Okay, so you, which we can make, and then Carbonic Fluix Dust, which we can't super make yet, but we need Coal Dust, which is a crusher recipe, which I can teach. Right? I'm sure I got a crushing machine down here somewhere. There you go. Cool. So if these two patterns go in here, and I wanted this carbonic fluid steel stuff and hit start, you should be crafting now? Sweet. All right, cool. And then if we got some acceleration upgrades in there, wow, that is pretty good. Six out of eight. Well, get to work making a bunch of those. Fluix dust, coal dust, fluix crystal. So I should probably put you on blocking mode, right? Is your crystal carbonic dust iron ingot? Crystal carbonic dust iron ingot. There you go. Cool. Why did you have some extra of this in here? That I don't understand. Are you still crafting something as far as you know? No. You don't have like a thing going on over here, right? No. Okay. Can we try that again? Kind of want to try that again. Oh, we're short on Fluix Dust. Well, let's use this stuff to make our next Fluix Dust maker now. So to make this guy, right, now we want the... So to make Fluix Dust, we want the Fluix Aggregator. Okay, so for this, we're going to need a charger, easy enough. We're going to need some energy cells, easy enough. We're going to need a crystal growth core, which is a lot of things, actually. You're going to need crystal growth accelerators, which needs fluix blocks. We're going to need six of them. Okay, and then you're going to need a lot of quartz glass. Just make a bunch for now. 
trying to figure out in my head all the things we need here. And we're probably going to need a decent amount of this. There you go. Cool. Now you should be good. Excellent. So the last pieces we need are parallel processors, which are printed circuits. So what we're going to want to do, that's a universal press. That's a different kind of press. Ooh, that needs one of those. Oh. Uh. We could make a matter condenser. We need a 64K storage unit, though. That I can make happen. And the matter condensers are easy. We can make this happen relatively quickly, I think, too. Um, now, these guys, if I threw a block of iron in each of these, are you still cooking up a bunch of stuff? You are. You're getting there, though. So, like, this will make me an extra engineering press, right? Um, and once you guys are all done with your crafting, I can make the rest of this happen. Okay. Not a big deal. So what else will I need for this thing? Uh, I need the Fluix logic circuit, which doesn't look terrible. I might want to teach you how to make those, though, because I suspect you might be needed for lots of things in the future. Uh, you're mostly the machine, so I'm going to hold off on making those until I decide that I definitely need to make those. All right, so the main thing we need to do now is matter infuser with our 64K, which is still in progress. That's what's gumming up the works over there. So let's do a matter infuser, right? Matter infusers, I don't think, are particularly tricky to get going. We just need to put you on output singularities. What I can have is a functional storage drawer here, or a drawer. I just forget we're not functional storage on. We're on 118, I keep forgetting that. Okay, um, so then you just need to condense energy, right? So if we got an EMC link, that would be a really good way to go, but I feel like EMC link might not quite be fast enough until we get a higher tier one. So the concern is, is that we EMC links that we have currently are kind of slow. Even the tier four, we're only talking like eight items per second. Like that's not great. Uh, we could do it super fast. What we're gonna need to do, what if we got an interface? How are my channels over here? Probably not great because I'm gumming it all up with this stuff. Right, you're you're using eight down here, right? Yes. So let's not put this here. So here's what I'm thinking. We throw down an interface, we put a stack of cobble in it, and then we transfer very quickly into thing. Cool. We just need to pick a spot that has some channels available. I could probably just run. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to keep you guys separate. Let's do it. This is kind of my miscellaneous AE area. I guess I could probably just do it over here. So if I plopped you down here, Mr. Matter Condenser, and then we put an interface, here. Interfaces can export like instantly, right? So if I said you keep in stock a stack of cobble, you would immediately do that, right? And there's no there's no delay. Boom, 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 boom. See? We can extract as quickly as we want. So that works, right? And then if we used uh, like a super hyper fast transfer, like we could use ultimate logistical transporters. How much do you do? I don't know. But you're going to want to be this. Is my 64K done yet? It is. Now laser IO would technically be the fastest way to do this. I don't think that's going to be quite fast enough for me. 
curious to see if item transfers from foregoing would be cool. These guys are neat, remember? How fast do you guys get? Oops. They're called add-ons. I think we just have to do this, right? How fast are you being right now? You're pretty quick. I ain't gonna lie, you're pretty quick. That ain't too shabby. Technically, laser IO could be faster. Technically, laser IO could be faster. But if we give that a minute, he shouldn't be long, right? So now let's get you. You. You and you. And if we come over here, you're gonna be good to go once I get that singularity, right? Uh, now, how crashy is this going to be? I don't know how much of a difference that's making. Pretty quick though, right? I think that's not terrible. I'm guessing the tick accelerating is what's really contributing to that, but maybe not. Once that tick accelerator wears off, which it just did now, it's still pretty quick. That is not bad. I'll just let that thing build up a stack, and then we'll see if we need more in the future. But there's your universal AE press, right? Uh, and now if we get an inscriber... And we add this bad boy over to here. Okay. And so what we're going to want to do is teach this thing how to make... Uh, now, the universal press will also be used in the future for matter, for, for these things. But can I make this now? No, because I need parallel processors to make this. But I should make this right away. So how about we get parallel processors and then we use them. So all I need is two resonating crystals. Right, one. And then we're gonna want two silicon and two redstone, I assume. Right, and two, and then you can do my silicon. Then you, and then you, and then bing, bang. Nope, nope, no, that's not what I meant. Uh, you, you, and you. Sweet. And now I should be able to get the circuit etcher if I, yeah. So I might want my universal press real quick. Give me that back. Give me two more of you. Okay. And then you can turn into this guy if I make a Fluix logic circuit which shouldn't be too hard to make with my current setup. Okay, now my circuit etchers can make all these things a lot easier. I'm not sure if we want multiple circuit etchers at this point, but at the very least, what I will probably want, um, let's add you here. Okay, and I'm, we're gonna use universal cables to make this groovy. Okay. Now, if I were to say you in a circuit etcher, it's just redstone and silicon directly. And if we get our acceleration cards in here, in fact, let's just teach it with the pattern because we know we're going to want that pattern eventually anyway, right? So we do this, your sidedness will be in and out on the bottom with auto extract, okay? And then we come over here and our circuit etcher recipes will be this, right? Uh, this, 
Anything else I care about at this moment? Probably not. This. I'm going to do all of them, right? And this. We drop that in here. Boom. If I remove these patterns from here for the time being... Let's test this now, right? So if I wanted like 10 of you... That's way faster than what we were doing before, right? That is awesome. That is really awesome. And if I wanted four of you, we need resonating dust from laser A2. Really? Parallel processor? Why do you need resonating dust? Craft, do craft, do craft. Did we use up all our resonating dust? Oh, well, I think it's because my resonating crystals are in my inventory. So now if I said just make me one of these, you should have no problem. Yes. That is super quick. I like that. And I think that means now that I can tear down this whole setup, right? So let me put this in my backpack for a sec. I don't see a need for any of these. Agree? Agreed? Right? Yeah, it's gonna be a, a hot mess. Let's put away some junk at the moment. Yeah, okay. Then I can clear stuff out. That should be cool. Nice and cleared. Now, if I bring this back into my inventory, it should vacuum everything up. Is anything... Nope, everything's stacked. Good. So then you go away, you guys go away, and we're cool. Okay. Looking good, right? How much cooler is that? I'm a fan. Big fan. So this doesn't need to exist no more, and this doesn't need to exist no more. And that is way more compact. You see the reason I went lazy array too? I'm lazy. So now to make the Fluix aggregator, I just need to do a couple more things, right? You and you. Now we're short on a little bit of Fluix dust available, two missing 12. So let's get some redstone, quartz, and charged Certus. Bing, bang, boom. I do like that mechanic. That's a cool mechanic. Um, and then you... Yeah, if I put you in there, that would make sense, right? I need to do on blocking. Didn't I have you on blocking mode? Do not push if it uh, until primary crafting result is. How about that, right? Why do you keep putting extra things in there? Why do you keep putting extra things in there? Oh, because it's the wrong recipe. That's why. That's why. I shouldn't be using this recipe. I should be using this recipe. There's your problem. Right. So now I, I don't know that this needs to happen. So we can do lock crafting never for now, but we won't push if there's stuff in there. Right. Um, and then what patterns are these? Those are my old patterns. We don't need them no more. Bing, bang, boom. Okay, uh, so now you, is everything done? Yes. So Fluix Aggregator shouldn't be a problem for me now. Look how fast that was, huh? 
Yep, it worked. Good. Now Fluix Aggregator can come here, and we'll do the same thing. We'll get our pattern, we'll get power, and we'll give you speed upgrades. And then we say Fluix Dust can be made in the thing here like this. Okay, and then your same deal, auto output, and now if I said, hey, give me a bunch of Fluix dust, like a hundred, he should be crafted no problem. Hey, that's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty cool. Liking that. So that makes all my AE2 stuff way faster and cooler, in my opinion. You guys can tell me if you agree or not. Uh, so let's recap. Uh, we just made AE2 way easier and more efficient, uh, which will make my life easier going forward for things like more cables and whatnot. Because um, I hadn't yet automated Fluix Dust, and now I have. And my uh, other stuff crafting is a lot better. And I'm sure there'll be some other lazier AE2 things I want to do. This looks really cool, and I'd like, I'm, I will probably wind up doing something like this in the future. I want to try it, uh, but I don't need to just yet. So Wither Builder and Mob Crusher are done. Nitro Crystals are done. We're working on the final shard next episode. Um, these are all automated, right? Like, I already have precision mechanisms, right? Like, we know how to craft those. We can craft 10 more, no problem. And it, you know, works pretty well. What I'm going to do next episode is down here, I'm going to add a conveyor belt line or two for what we need, which is, and you can see it on my to-do list already, uh, the final piece for the final star shard is going to be refined radiance, which is technically the first piece, but it's the only thing I don't have automated yet. Um, refined radiance needs refined mixture which is a combination of gold, water, Mobius fuel, glowstone dust, and HDPE sheets. Doesn't sound terrible. However, it does need superheated, okay? Then we're going to need to mix that with a chromatic compound. Chromatic compounds are made in a mixer that's also superheated, by the way, that needs powdered obsidian, andesite alloy, glowing ingot, and polished rose quartz. As a reminder, we've already got polished rose quartz on autocraft. Glowing ingots are just brass ingots, which we can also already auto-craft, with lava. So we're going to need three new automations for create. We're going to need this one to auto-craft glowing ingots. Then we're going to need this one to auto-craft chromatic compounds. And then finally, we're going to need this one to make refined mixture. So we need four because we finally, finally need to make the refined radiance itself. So four new create automations next episode. Um, and how we do that is going to be an exceptional question that we'll have to figure out. Now, the good news is, is once I get this final star shard, I can create um, a creative blaze cake, which as we recall, we can just click on things and they'll stay blue forever. So we can just make all of our dudes blue and not have to worry about fully automate. Like, we've already automated Blaze Cakes, but, like, we're going to have to route them around a lot. Um, but it would be fun to make this. So, first, though, step one is going to be getting this all automated so that we can make a final star shard. Once we have that final star shard, and, and we're going to need 20 of every item here with one nether star. So once we automate Refined Radiance, then we'll be able to make our first final star shard. But that'll all have to be next episode because it's wrapped up. That will 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Let's come back next time. Um, and how are we on Blaze Cakes, by the way? We are pretty full, actually. We're doing good on Blaze Cakes. Yeah, no, we're not terrible. So I think we'll be all right. All right, wrapping up point. That will 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.